Hi, and welcome to this section of the Probability and Statistics Tutor. And in this section, we're going to continue our study of uh, ordering of elements that we did in the last section. And we're going to talk about the topic of combinations, okay? Here's where things start to get a lot of students in trouble and start to, the confusion begins to mount sometimes with some students. I hope to completely avoid it with you here. Because the, the term permutation and ordering and combinations also has to do with elements and picking, picking the different ways in which things can happen, the number of ways in which things can happen, it's easy to get confused, okay? The number one rule for permutations, which we just studied, was that the order does matter. The order of the elements matters. So I know you just watched that section, that's what that means, okay? When you're talking about combinations, the order doesn't matter. And that's why I tried to drill it home so, so much for you, is because when you're talking with combinations, the order does not matter, okay? Um, the easiest way to probably get into that is just to go ahead and work an example and show you what I'm talking about of when the order might not matter at all. I mean, these things are not, this is not rocket science. You're going to get this really quickly, and you'll look at the formula for how to calculate the number of combinations. And once you see the difference, you'll know when to apply the permutation rule and when to apply uh, the combination rule. So. Let's go ahead and just briefly, briefly review what we did last section because I'm going to draw some parallels to it even though I know you just watched that section. Let's go ahead and talk about uh, a race, okay? We have three runners. I'm going to do this really quickly because we just watched the section. Three runners. Uh, how many ways uh, can we get first and second place? First and second place. Now you know this is a problem in permutations from the last section, okay? Uh, and I'm going to show you the difference between this and a combination is why I'm doing this. This is a, a problem in permutations because there's a, f a clear first and second place. And that's a big keyword that should tell you the order is going to matter. So if I had, for instance, uh, Jake, Bill, and Sarah, what we did in the last section is we, we built our tree diagram, right? We said, well, Jake can finish first, and once we pick Jake, then Bill could finish second, or Sarah could finish second, okay? And we also said, okay, if Jake didn't finish first, let's say Bill finished first. Then Jake could finish second, and Sarah, in those cases, could finish second, okay? So this is first place, this is second place. And then if Sarah's actually the one to finish first, uh, Jake could be the guy to finish second, and then Bill could be the guy to finish second. So this is just a review. We did this in the last section. I'm just showing you just for some com comparison purposes. And then we said, okay, in the last section that when you have problems of this type, you have, in this case, three elements taken two at a time, okay? Taken two at a time. Because I have three elements, but I'm only looking at the number of ways in which two of them can be ordered where the order does matter, okay? And we said that was, 3 factorial over 3 minus 2 factorial, okay? And when you do this, you'll get 3 factorial on the bottom and 1 factorial, I'm sorry, 3 factorial on the top, 1 factorial on the bottom, and what you'll have is 3 factorial, which 3 times 2 is just going to give you 6. So there's 6 perms in that case. And this is exactly what you have. 1, 2, uh, in this case, this would be 1 permutation, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's 6 different ways in which you can have first and second place like that. So for this case, for this entire example, the order mattered. First place, second place, the order mattered. Now, let's move into the topic of this section. Well, we're not going to use the word permutation at all. It's not called a permutation. Uh, it's called a combination when the order does not matter, okay? So 